All right, so it is uh, Tuesday the 30th, not quite 7 o'clock, and um, my concrete contractor just called, said him and his guys are going to come over. The guys are actually here now taking a look at the yard, how they're going to grade it and get it ready for the concrete work later this week. But right now we're talking about how I want to attach it to the driveway, which is right here, and how we're going to do a sidewalk over to the door, and how we're going to do a ramp. So the good news is the concrete work is gonna happen this week, which will be one of the last things to finish. And yeah, I'm pretty excited to get that done so I don't have to use my car ramps to get the cars in and out. Wednesday the 31st of March about 9 o'clock in the morning and uh, the guys are here they're just getting started getting the driveway uh, prepped so they can lay out all the concrete work they're gonna do so they showed up last night dropped off the equipment and today they're out there getting the yard actually cut down and even so they can go ahead and do their forms and all later this week and pour the concrete so we're getting close yay Funny, we had an old irrigation out here. It was actually right by the driveway, which is crazy because I know I got them around the house and it's never worked since I moved in. And uh, we dug up a couple ones over there, but I did not realize there was one edge of the driveway. This is what they look like right here. But it's never worked since I moved in, so I don't care. But I just think that's pretty funny. All right, it is uh, 11.45 on the 31st. The guy's making progress. He's getting it all leveled out. He's got the form made over here where the concrete's gonna go around the edge. And all that looks great. Right now he's leveling up to the building. You'll notice we had to pull some of the siding off the building because it hangs down below where the concrete's gonna go. So he's building it all up and took some of those panels off. But yeah, he's getting it all leveled out now so the water will drain properly and not puddle around the building. So it should look good. All right, so it's uh, 2.30. You see the progress he's made so far. And uh, I just got through buying the concrete. It's gonna be delivered tomorrow and 18 yards so far is what they're estimating so i've got it purchased it'll be delivered tomorrow they'll start spreading it all out and hopefully we'll get that driveway going yeah all right so it is almost seven o'clock uh you'll notice here i got a a new tire uh that's for the pontiac g8 apparently it's got a bubble inside of it don't know why but we saw it the other day when doug was over here visiting anyway back to the garage so um They've done the concrete work here, and they've done the forming that they'll do to pour the concrete. This basketball goal is going away tomorrow, and uh, my crushing run, all the rocks gonna go around like that. So it's gonna go here and come around to here. So we just had a heck of a rainstorm, started flooding the yard, but this gives you an idea where it goes down and around. That's how that's gonna look. And then over here on the ramp, uh, they took the pile of dirt they had and they built all this back up where it was down real low and uh, we're going to do a sidewalk from the door over and then right in here see how they build it up for my ramp so now I'll be able to come in here and um, drive up on the ramp now what's interesting here is they've got the damn legs kicked way out like that that's okay to have it wide but this one doesn't seem like it did as wide. It needs to come on over a little bit is what it looks like. 
So, uh, yeah, might have to might have to get them to modify that a little bit. Hey, so uh, right now they're taking down the basketball goal because I don't have a wicked jump shot. So there it goes. Awesome, right? And they got the uh, all the forming done for the concrete to get poured here shortly. The truck should be here anytime. All right, so I heard beeping. Thought it was the concrete truck. Ends up being the crush and run truck showed up. Basketball goal's gone now. Got the crush and run there. And they'll be pouring the concrete around. There's my sidewalk and all over there. Exciting times. The concrete truck just arrived. They're supposed to be here at 11. It's uh, 12.15 but better late than never. So, let me get my watch up here. So it is 12.54, and the first concrete truck is finishing up his load. And they've got the ramp done, the sidewalk. They're putting all this out here for the entrance. I got my sidewalk coming around and here's the ramp so yeah there we go we got a ramp now I can actually drive in that's gonna be awesome see how they built the ground up here too and I made them flare it out so last night I was kind of aggravated I didn't see where it was just kind of straight and not flared so now they got me a little flare right here to transition up on and that one there is pretty straight so but because i'm going to be driving around this tree i need a little bit of a flare so i can ease in so that looks really good i like the way they did that and then up here for my sidewalk so now to walk into the building you just come around here and boom you're in the building so yeah i'm excited Here's the other truck just showed up.
Well, the third truck just showed up. It is uh, 4.30, and uh, they got that one section over there to pour. But this is done, and they're finishing everything out over here now. And uh, there's the leftover pizzas and drinks. You know, you gotta take care of your crew working for you. Bought them a bunch of pizzas and some Pepsis and all that so they could eat their lunch in between all this concrete showing up. We'll go take a look. How everything's starting to shape up over here with the sidewalk. They even have it put a little little flavor in there for me. Look at that little bit of flavor they got where it's smooth on the edge and kind of rough in the middle so you don't slip. I like it. That's fancy. Be some fancy concrete. Same thing over here. Smooth on the edge and rough in the middle so you can have traction. So I'm assuming when it's wet you won't slip and slide and bust your tail if you walk on it. Alright, so it's Friday, April the 2nd, and here's the finished product. It's hard enough to walk on now. So this is the driveway. See how they attached it to my existing driveway? And it kicks out here, so I can go down and pull into this bay. I like it. And then it's got a little bit of a transition where it goes down to here and then back up. This is so the water will go down to here and run off. And then this is my walkway, which is cool. A little sidewalk, walk over here to my door. And then there's my ramp that goes down. And he's starting to pull over my crush and run for my ramp and we're gonna smooth all this out and my crushing run we're gonna make a drive that goes from where the white truck is around but this is it we had to take these panels off because they hung down too low so we got to trim the bottom panels you can see where this was we had to bend it up so it's about how far down we've got to cut those panels to put them back up which is gonna happen today but there's the concrete you'll notice one thing I did there's a little bit of a lip here so it's not exactly uh flush and i did that for a reason in case water is ever to accumulate down here it's not just going to run in real easy um, but that was intentional uh, my daughter can't ride her skateboard up on there without trying to bump it but uh it will keep more water from trying to come in here so so there's the finished product there's the concrete concrete's done Moving on to just finishing the yard work now.